I'm sleepy, literally, and I'm starving. I've been on a diet, and all I've been eating this morning, I had a small bowl of unflavored oatmeal. Okay. Have you ever had a bowl of oatmeal? You have not been on a diet. (sighs) What did I have for breakfast this morning? Okay. Yeah. What are you ordering for lunch? Yeah, I'm starving. (laughs) It's called a diet. What did I eat yesterday? Wiener schnitzel. But I only have one dog. (laughs) And fries. And a huge bucket of fries. Yeah. It's called D-D- a diet, you Mega doo-doo. Ay. Um, God, I'm going to devour that food. But anyway, my you point is... You had a plate of vegetables this morning and you didn't even touch it. I end up eating your vegetables not, who, every morning. Who's in the mood for sliced bell pepper? Maybe someone on a diet? Well, it's more calories. I chose really? not to eat it. Really? Cucumber? I had, bowl, I had a bowl of unsweetened <laughs> You're oatmeal. You're going to count Have the calories. Have you ever <laughs> eaten a bowl of unsweetened oatmeal? Okay. Just water and oats. Okay, but you're going to count the calories two hard-boiled eggs. of cucumber. Well, I'm saying, what does that got to do with my diet? And then you order french fries for lunch. I'm not, I'm, you brought it up like, oh, you, what, if you're on a diet, you should be eating a sliced bell pepper in the morning. And I'm saying that it doesn't matter. Okay. What's it got to do with my diet? But put it this way, Hila. If I eat a bowl of oatmeal and an egg, maybe that's three, 400 calories. That's a light, light meal. Then the, I agree. I fully admit that I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna eat a thousand calories right now with the burger and the French fries. Mm-hmm. That puts me still at thirteen hundred. If I don't eat anything for the rest of the day, maybe some fruit. I'm running a pretty good deficit still. Maybe, but that's not how you do it. <sighs> that's maybe. how you get heart disease in like two years. Oh, you think so? Why, I'll eat some fruit, and then, I mean, it's not such a bad day. French fries? French fries, admittedly, not that. I don't eat French fries that often. This Yesterday? Is, this is a real, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm saying, I know, but I'm saying, guys, this is real. You see what you're saying? This is a real conversation. That's what's so special here. That's what makes this so special. This is all real. I'm not. People who watch the highlights. If there were cameras here or not, this conversation would be the same. People who watch the highlights miss out on this kind of gold. <laughs> It's the stuff in between that makes this podcast great. I think it's a shame that you cannot commit to a diet. I'll t- I'm telling you honestly. I do. <laughs> I agree. I mean, Because I... it's, first of all, unhealthy. Mm-hmm. You're at the point of your life where you can make a, ter- you can make a shift. You can either become a healthy adult mm-hmm. or you're going to go like the fat, sorry to say it, but like heart disease, mm-hmm. like all the shit that come with it, mm-hmm. adult. I agree. There's a... You can pick your road. So you're saying... French fries are out of the question. Ever? Once a year. Once a year? Okay, let's start with once a month. Once a month? Yeah, that's a lot. You really don't need french fries. I don't eat french fries. Yeah, I'm working on it. But I swear to God, you don't ha- You do not have... The food addiction that i have it's it, easy it is an addiction i i, I know, totally so i know i understand that I it's an addiction guy problem i mean look I at zach understand. he's sucking down horsey sauce i understand that it's an addiction but i'm just saying that it's a shame that you don't try a little harder to commit because you oh, like you did God. good for a week <laughs> you did really good for a week yeah i agree you it lost weight like a lot in one week right I'm trying. I am trying to figure it out. It's in my brain. I don't think this meal totally uh, is going to interrupt anything. I think it's part of a whole big ecosystem. I am sorting it out. I'm trying. I am really trying. Okay. I'm trying. I know you're disappointed in me. Makes me feel no. ashamed. But I'm ashamed of myself too because I really do want to be at a healthy weight. It's not that I'm disappointed. It's like I feel like I want to help you because I feel like I see the. It's. I see that it's an addiction. Totally. Like I'm not. I'm being fully serious. <laughs> no, I. I know. Yeah, I'm not delusional about it. I mean, I'm not delusional about it. I'm fully aware. But um, I don't think publicly shaming me is the, <laughs> is going to help me on my on my addiction quest. Have you ever considered getting <laughs> a uh, like a personal trainer, like somebody who I did. to work with you? I did. I didn't did? like it. Oh, okay. It's too weird. Also, I don't trust her advice. She goes, 
she tries putting me on like the act or like a car, whatever the keto, the, keto. she's like okay what you need to do is go home and eat high fat ground beef avocado sour cream and cheese just don't eat bread i'm like bitch are you trying to kill me <laughs> that's <laughs> like, what i do i mean i'm sure I'll, i might lose weight but i'm gonna fuck i will definitely die of heart disease <laughs> That's why I feel I'm scared for Joe Rogan, man. I see what that motherfucker eats. I don't. He's like mm. breakfast time. It's like steak and like five <laughs> just, eggs and a huge steak. I'm I like, just Whoa. see a picture of it and I get like sick. He posts on Instagram the. I'm scared. Yeah, he works that, out man. like four hours a day. Though, does. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You mm. can't. Well, sure. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen to me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Don't take advice from me. Don't take fitness <laughs> advice from me. <laughs> Howard Stern has a funny bit, like how Oprah sells. Weight Watchers, but she's fat as hell. He's like, don't take fat <laughs> advice from this woman who's just always perpetually fat. He's like, I should sell weight. Nobody wants to take weight loss from a skinny guy. <laughs> weight loss advice <laughs> from a skinny true. guy. That's so true. But the truth is, because Oprah's fat, people will listen. People know that she knows about their struggles. Right. Someone like Howard. Or you, God forbid, I know. Mila, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> you couldn't handle a day in my shoes. Okay? Hila is so, like, you've seen the bite she takes of these chicken sandwiches. She doesn't know what it's like to be me. And you sit there <laughs> and judge me. I'm not judging. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not judging. I you like want me you to be at any size. Either. No, I know you do. I know you do. You want me to be healthy. Your intentions are pure. I know that. I know. But I think I'm. I am figuring it out. And I, I saw will my dad. You know, my dad was a skinny guy. Like I most know. of his. I know. Up until his like thirties, he was skinny. Yeah. One of the things your dad told me. One of the only things your dad ever communicated with me was don't be, don't get fat like me. He hated it. He he would say, watch your weight. He don't really get fat hated like it. Me. It's uncomfortable. It gives you all kinds of diseases. Your dad was extro. He kind of had an extraordinary belly, though. Yeah. He had an extraordinary belly. Yeah. But in the end, it's not, you know, what got him. Nah, it didn't. But help. it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Nothing. It really doesn't. Like even with cancer, everything kind of factors in. Right. Well, they weren't weren't they saying that he it was good that he had so much because he was losing so much weight from chemo, that it's good he had the stores. Wow. I'm trying to uh, <laughs> I'm trying to give myself a <laughs> silver lining here. <laughs> anyway, rest in peace to your dad, obviously. Mm -hmm. I pro I am I'm always thinking about it and I'm strategizing and I know. Hey, you're gonna see. You're gonna get inspired someday. I'm gonna make a Fuzzy Tube esque <laughs> weight loss video that's gonna blow you all away. I was gonna say. I mean, it, it, maybe you need to power this with a meme. We need to make this like a thing on the podcast. I mean, I've always wanted to have a jacked Ethan. Yeah, meme. Like, it would honestly be hilarious if you got fucking ripped. So I don't think do it, I'll do ever it for get the ripped, humor. But I'll get I'll get skinny. Eel is doubting. Doubt one hundred. I don't. I don't want you to think that I want you to get ripped or anything crazy. I know like you don't. That. I know you don't. You just want me to be healthy. Yeah. But you, what you don't know is healthy at every size. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone gonna hate me? Do I seem yeah. now like I'm mean to oh. you? Yeah, people are gonna be pissed about okay. this. Okay. But I want them to know. I'm just being real. I can see people yeah. being like, "Ela, yeah. so mean." But I want people to. I don't want people to think that because you coming from a good place. You mean well. I think Ela sometimes comes off a little harsher than she intends. Yeah, when, I do. And, 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 and that's the Israeli side of her, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But she, her heart, she's, she's pure of heart and sweet of heart. And she, what she's trying to say is that she wants me to be happy and healthy. And I think what she, know, what she knows more is that it makes me miserable being fat. It, and I yeah, keep making these bad I decisions see, for myself. I see you, like, you know, not being able to wear what you want mm -hmm. or... Being uncomfortable. Yeah, it's awful. My thighs rub together. My armpits starting to rub together because I'm so fat. I can't breathe when I tie my shoes. <laughs> I was feeling the that worst. stuff in the ninth month of being pregnant. I was, or or the also the acid reflux mm -hmm. gets worse and it's it's really uncomfortable. The worst part about being fat for me is the thigh rubbing, like right under my nuts on my thighs. 
there's no hair left from the friction, but it's just I have to huh. cr- I have to shove my boxers in between my my uh legs. No, what do you call that area between the asshole and the balls? Taint. The taint. The gooch. I, yeah, taint gooch. I shove my underwear in my gooch to prevent the chafing. <laughs> and I walk around like I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> like this. I'll show you guys. You, you have to. But so you have to shove the underwear, but not the pants. So it looks normal. Because <laughs> if you do like this, it looks ridiculous. So I mastered a technique where the underwear goes under the, and then the pants look normal. <laughs> so that's my life. And you're absolutely right. You. And I know all that. <laughs> exactly. Ela, she, she's right. She, Ela's right. And she's frustrated. Uh, watch me make these bad decisions time and time again. And but it's right. fine. If you guys want to hate me, go ahead. I'm okay with it. No. I can understand it. It's fine. No. There, no, it's not fine. Sometimes I think also, like, may I don't know, maybe I shouldn't enable you, you know, because it is an addiction. Hmm. But I don't, it's so tough, like... Well, I don't. Who knows? I think what, ultimately, what's it's right. up to me. Yeah, it's not. If, you're not enabling me. Yeah. I'm. I'm very insistent. And when I get an idea in my head, I want to, you know, do something, eat something bad. I mean, it's not your place. Ultimately, it has to come from within mm-hmm. me. That change. And so, yeah, you're in a tough place. You say, do I do I say something? Do I help him, or do I just be quiet? Because often you'll say something, and it'll come off like you're being mean or judgmental and it's like ultimately what can you do it's just you know it's my it's my choice yeah so i think you're good i think your intentions are pure i think you're a loving wonderful wife i wouldn't change you i mean i I wouldn't change anything about you ever (laughs) i wouldn't change a single thing about you i wouldn't change anything about you except my weight no it's fine (laughs) look it's fine (laughs) i am personally not into like Super muscly look, and uh, you know, skinny. I don't want you to go that route. So, I want. Uh, there's nothing more I want them to lose weight. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat these burger and fries, and then I'm gonna go home and I'm not eating anything for the rest of the day. Maybe have some watermelon. All right. That's it, and I'm I'm low, and I'm and I'm gonna do my steps too. Mm-hmm. I've been getting in six thousand steps a day. And I walk in the house. It's the weirdest thing. Shredder watches me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but I do steps like, in the house because I don't want to go outside because it's hot. It's fucking awful. But their neighborhood's kind of shady, too, at night. <laughs> so I just stay in and walk around the house. So where would you rate this on the best episodes ever? I totally pooped the whole episode. You didn't poop it. I wouldn't change a thing about you, Ela. Not even... Not even... A cunt hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a friend once. I'm gonna ba- I have to I, give I some. I don't even know if I heard you right. <laughs> I have to give some uh, context to that comment. I had a friend once. He had me proofreading a paper for his college exam, and he used the word. And he said instead of hair, I was a hair from whatever. He said I was a cunt hair away. <laughs> And I was like, bro, why did you write <laughs> cunt hair? And he's like, what do you mean? That's like common language, cunt hair. I was like, no, dude, that's vulgar as hell. And I don't, I don't know why he just wrote in cunt hair and he thought it was what? totally fine. But I just, that stuck with me. What is that guy and watching? So that just popped in my head there. I think it's from The Sopranos. Huh. But he just wrote in cunt hair in his college essay I was just blown away I never I actually had never even heard the phrase cunt hair yeah so I wouldn't change not even a cunt hair on you <laughs> thank you